This is Access Houston on 97.9 The Box. Good Sunday morning. You're listening to Access Houston. I'm your host, KG Smooth. Uh, one of my favorite organizations in the city, Baker Ripley Neighborhood Centers. They are back, and now I am here with the first timer on the program from Baker Ripley. He is the youth program manager. Uh, please welcome Mr. Sean Brennan. Good Thank morning, you. sir. Appreciate you having me. Appreciate it. Man, so uh, Baker Ripley, y'all, you all are really just darlings of of the city i mean you i have done so much from facilitating and managing the uh the centers for evacuees from hurricane harvey to the uh, free tax preparations and now you all are doing uh, the youth summer camp something for the kids to do uh yeah. this summer so very excited about that uh it kicks off in june six locations uh for the uh community centers and neighborhood centers here uh, in Houston. So, well, first, tell us about your position. You, you are the youth program manager. What does that yeah, entail? Yeah, so uh, that's a lot, right? Um, <laughs> so we do a lot of different activities with the youth, and I kind of oversee the activities that happen at all six of our community center locations. Um, and so specifically, we do a lot with kids ages three all the way up to 18. Okay. So we have like our little leaders program, which is ages three to 13. And then for our high school age kids, we call them our young leaders and they're 14 to 18. So okay. during the summer, we run all day camps, um, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Okay. Um, starting June 4th all the way through August 17th. Um, for our little leaders, we are heavily focused on STEM activities, so science, technology, engineering, mathematics. Yes. We want to make sure that this summer is fun for the kids, but they're also learning something, you know. Uh -huh. Like it's not just a throwaway day and you're not just being dropped off and we're babysitting, right? Uh -huh. There's something productive that's going to happen with your kids whenever they come to our programs. <laughs> so we focus a lot on that STEM aspect. So each day they're doing science, technology, engineering, mathematics. We focus heavily on math and science and then um, we throw in technology and engineering and other aspects to try to build that hands-on aspect. Mm -hmm. um, we, do, we do a lot with uh, Lego robotics. Oh, um, so now you're talking actually, to kids' language. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, so we're actually going to be hosting uh, within our, our community centers a little Lego competition with the robotics. Wow. And uh, we have one group that's going to be focused on um, through a, a partnership that we have with United Way. Um, they provided the funds so that we're going to be having this competition and we're going to be using these Sphero robots. Have you ever heard of those? I have not. So they're like little the little BB-8 balls, you know, okay. from Star Wars. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So the kids are going to learn how to program these things using their phones and we're going to have little competitions with that. And so their learning is going to build up starting with those Spheros and then going to the Lego robotics. And so they're going to add the engineering component at that point. So we're really trying to encompass this whole learning aspect because the summer, one of the things that all parents worry about is that the summer slide, the summer learning loss that, uh -huh. that occurs whenever yeah. they're not going to school anymore. Right. So we're, we're making sure that we are adding that educational component to and it. And it's fun. Yeah. Like the kids, you know, are having fun and not even realizing that they're learning and I'm doing right, right, yeah. right. So that, so that is the trick and that, and, and it's so, um, it's so appropriate for um, right now because STEM is uh, the big thing when it comes to education and, you know, with the world that we live in today with technology, social media, these phones, how you said the kids are going to be operating um, the robots from their phone is very, very timely. I am. Um, I can really appreciate that. You know, yeah. A long way from when I was coming up and going to summer <laughs> camp, like we didn't have, you know, things, things of, of, of this nature. Were you... Um, involved in kind of putting together this sort of curriculum, if you will, for these summer camps? So I'm a part of the planning process. We have a whole team that comes together and does the planning for our programs. Um, and, it, you know, Baker Ripley, we have a, a community, um, an appreciative inquiry style of building our programs where we reach out to the community and find out exactly what they want for their programs. Uh -huh. Nice. So whenever we talk to the kids and they say these are the type of things that they want to see, we try to construct our programs around that. That's dope. So it's really just trying to stay on top of what they want, what they want to see, and then how can we provide that. Okay. So it's doing all the research, research and, and all to stay that, on yeah. top of that and stuff. And see what the people want. I'm not always the best guys. at staying on top of that stuff. <laughs> so i got to make sure that I hire the good people that are on top of that stuff. Yeah, yeah. You're listening to Access Houston. We're talking to Sean Brennan, who's the youth program manager at 
Baker Ripley. Baker Ripley Neighborhood Centers, they are having the Youth Summer Camp that kicks off on June the 4th, and it goes through August the 17th. So with with there being two different groups, you got the little leaders mm-hmm. for uh, ages 3 to 13 and the young leaders from 14 to 18. Uh, do you have a favorite group to deal with? Like, Ooh, me personally? Um, it's, you know, it depends on what kind of mood I am, I'm in, I guess. Okay. Uh-huh. Because... There are times that you can have way more real conversations with those high schoolers, right? right yeah, with the 14 and to 18. Yeah. I, can, I can, you know, talk sports with them. I can uh-huh. get real about some life issues. Uh-huh. And they're just at a different point in their life. But the joy that you kind of get of working with, with the, the younger, the younger ones? ones, yeah, yeah. That, that's kind of priceless all in itself. I can only imagine because, especially the younger ones, like, from an intellectual standpoint, they seem way more advanced than kids that I was interacting with when I was growing yeah. up, even kids that I, you know, saw growing up in the, you know, early 2000s, early to mid 2000s, so like definitely... these kids are super smart. Like you've yeah. been here before. It's like, cause I mean, like growing up, we didn't have the technology they had. Like, no, not at the all. The fact that I have to tell a six year old to go put their tablet away. <laughs> We're yeah. trying to learn something. Go right. put your phone away. It's like, man, when did when did you get your first phone? You know, like, that's crazy that these are the times that we live in now. But yeah, I know, that's right? That's our reality. And that's what they're growing up with. Right. So for the little leaders um, throughout the camp, what on a daily, what would they, uh, what would a day look like for the little leaders? For the little leaders. So that's our, our younger ones. Yes. So we provide three meals a day. We do okay. breakfast, lunch, and a snack. So whenever they come in, we start with breakfast. Then we go straight into our educational component. So mm-hmm. we'll do the math or science mm-hmm. and we'll do our experiments with that. Um, We also have our themed lessons, so we try to have, like, a fun learning aspect, so maybe, like, you know, barnyard animals Uh, or outer space, those type of things. Okay. Um, Each week, we have a field trip uh, for them, so we try to incorporate the themed learning aspects with their field trips. So if it's, like, outer space, we'll combine that with a field trip to NASA Space Center. Um, If it's barnyard animals, we'll take a trip to, like, Old McDonald Farm or the Houston Zoo to try to provide that real-life aspect of what they've been learning. Wait a minute, sidebar. Old McDonald Farm is a real farm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, You'll have to check it out. Google it. It's actually actually pretty cool. It's a fun field trip for the kids. They get to experience some real animals and see what a real farm looks like and do a little horseback riding, things like that. (laughs) (laughs) I'm just thinking of the nursery rhyme. Like, wait a minute. Yeah, I'm sure they got it from something. I don't know about the whole copyright thing. (laughs) Right, 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 right. And so, and, and a day for the young leaders, So the the 14 and 18. The young leaders. So for their program, During the summer, they're heavily focused on an entrepreneurial program that we have called Peers and Profits. Hmm. So it walks them through the process of actually starting their own business. Um, So they go through product development. They do a complete business plan. They budget. Shut up. Do a market analysis, price point variations. I am here for this. (laughs) So it's really just trying to build up different leadership components within them uh, so that they learn these different traits that they're going to need Whenever they finish high school. I mean, so we're really trying to prepare them for life after high school, whether that be their career or college. Mm -hmm. We just want to make sure that they're prepared. They got that one up. Yeah. So we focus heavily on building up their 21st century skills, which are like, uh, you know, communication, Mm -hmm. professionalism, Mm -hmm. networking, all those different things that an employer is expecting to see, but sometimes is is missing within our kids whenever they're starting a job and they just want to stay on their phones the whole time. Man, that is so amazing. You listen to Access Houston. We're talking to Sean Britton, who is the youth program manager for Baker Baker Ripley Neighborhood Centers, who is having their uh, youth summer camp kicks off on uh, June the fourth. Um, this, I'm I'm blown away. I'm I'm so <laughs> glad because I just feel like the whole educational. Uh, component just if it's just in regular schooling Mm -hmm. just education period has seemed to somehow taken a back seat so you know with organizations like Baker Ripley Neighborhood Centers who uh, believe in our youth and are very cognizant of uh, what they're into and uh, the the advancement of science, technology, engineering, mathematics. Um, it, it's just mind blowing. I'm, I'm just, it just makes me happy because, you know, I feel like they're trying to throw our kids away. Yeah. You know, I mean, feeding them with 
this music that is on here and then just all of the stuff that's on social media and uh, for you all to help to get back to them learning. You know, I mean, this whole business plan, the whole thing for the kids like that is so important because I wish I would have had something like that. It, it's got me thinking like uh, maybe I would have learned how to respect money more. Yeah. And, you know, um, Maybe I wouldn't have been so green as to, you know, not knowing the importance of my credit. So yeah. what you all are doing and stealing this in these uh, young kids at this age is, uh, I mean, hats off. It's just phenomenal. Yeah, and I want to I give a shout out to, to my staff that actually teach this, these curriculums and actually work directly with the kids. Because it's interesting that you talk about, like, the budgeting and the money. Because mm-hmm. I, there are aspects that I think that... We even as adults, right. we get this type of financial learning. And I think sometimes we blow it off. Mm-hmm. And a, a lot of times working with these students, it's really just how you deliver it. Mm-hmm. And we take pride in the quality of programming that we're providing to the kids. Right. And it really starts with my staff and how they make this learning aspect interesting and fun for the kids so that they're actually retaining what they're learning. What they're learning, yeah. That that's what makes it important because every child learns differently. But when you add everything that you all are adding, yeah. um, that, that'll definitely keep a child's uh, attention. So if, if parents that are listening and want uh, to enroll their uh, child in the youth summer camp, where, where should they go? Where the, what do they need to do? So um, visit one of our locations. You can find them on our website at bakerripley.org slash youth dash programs. You can also uh, give me a call at my number, 281-768-1639, or email me, S Brennan B-R-E-N-N-A-N, at BakerRipley.org. Indeed. And before you get out of here, Sean, you know, I understand that you are a huge Rockets fan. You know, the city is, right. it's a lituation here in <laughs> H-Town with Red Nation. Uh-huh. Uh, game three tonight in the Bay Area. We are tied 1-1. Uh, what are your feelings? Um. So we got to take at least one of these games, we, right? Yes, we, we have take to take one, one. On, the, on the road, yes. So I feel like this is the one. Okay. We got to take this we're, one. We're, we're going to uh, come out fired up. Continue off this, uh, 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 off of um, uh, Wednesday's win. That's right. So we got, we, we have the momentum going. Our role players got a little confidence. Mm-hmm. We got to keep this ball rolling. Take this one tonight. And then let's see if we can steal another one. Yeah. That's it. You know what? The, the only frustrating thing about, the Western Conference Finals, uh, both conferences. Mm-hmm. These long waits that we have, like what is really going on here with yeah, the, no, so the amount of time <laughs> that we have to wait in between games? It's like it's so unfair. Yeah, like we've been waiting since Wednesday night. As soon <laughs> right. as the game ended, we're like, when's that next game? <laughs> right, And right. every day has been killing me ever since then. I know, but but, but tonight is tonight. And oh, uh, this summer, uh, Baker Ripley Neighborhood Centers is, is the place for your children for the youth summer camp, which starts on uh, June the 4th. Um, They've got six different neighborhood centers here in Houston, uh, Baker Ripley does. So uh, just log on to the website. They'll have all of the information there on how you can uh, enroll and have your child participate in the youth summer camp and the programs that they have, high-quality programs. I mean, you just heard what Sean said. It's just absolutely uh, amazing. So they need to go to where? One more time. So go to our website, BakerRipley.org, youth-programs. Indeed, man. Sean, thanks for coming through, man. This was a lot of fun. No problem. And thank you for listening to Access Houston. We'll be back with more Access Houston on 97.9 The Box.